What is up everybody? I am Legend and in today's video I'm going to show you how to start vocals for a song or how I start vocals for my songs in today's little studio session coming right up. Let's go. So if you guys have been watching my videos, my last video that I posted was me making a beat from scratch that was called Much To Do. And you guys kind of heard me doing a little bit of like humming of ideas that I was coming up with on the spot. And I kind of wanted to expound on that here in a video and show how I would come across, uh, you know, starting a song as far as the vocals go, because I already have the beat. I'm just coming up with vocal ideas, melodies, harmonies, and recording reference vocals and how you can use this to kind of help boost your songwriting. So this is literally going to be all fresh. You guys will see it here from scratch. So uh, if you've watched my video, how to come up with melodies and harmonies, essentially what I do, I'm using the scale that the song is in, which is C major. So that's our scale. I'm using that scale to basically come up with what notes I'm going to be singing. And then I'm just basically feeling out rhythms with all the notes within that scale. And there are plugins that I have shown on this channel that can kind of come up with melodies for you, Captain Melody. And let's just, uh, let's just start, I guess. So I know the chorus is, I wanna record the chorus first, cause we already have that idea. I know I did a lot of things in my life, but still got much to do. Uh, still got much to do. do. Make sure you set your BPM so this is 90 and the uh, key of the song as well. Don't forget that. But I'm gonna skip to the chorus. So it doesn't have to be perfect. These are just reference vocals. Remember that. Sounds pretty good. I know I did a lot of things in my life, but I probably switch it up on the on the second one right there, but just copy paste for now. That's the idea that I came out with initially, and what I would recommend when you're coming out with songs, if you produce your own songs or you come out with an idea to somebody else's beat. If you get an idea for the song, don't wait to record the idea, even if it's in a notepad or something like that, you wanna get it down immediately because even if you trash it later, it's better to have something that you'll throw away later than to have an idea that was going to be incredible, but then you forgot to put it down, you can't remember it later, and then now you're just out of an idea. So in this case, I like to record my ideas immediately so the course is what i had immediately i recorded that down if i had the verse uh first that i came up with i would have recorded some references for the verse uh just so that i remember that melody even if it's in my voice memos or whatever it may be so make sure you're constantly tracking down your ideas somewhere but uh i think in the project is going to give you the best w way to listen to it and hear it not in full because obviously it's a reference but uh, it'll give you like an idea more so than if you were to just like record it in your phone and you have the music playing in the background. It's just more, it's, it gives you a, a better look at, at what you're trying to achieve. So now the the verses is what we're looking at. Uh, let's just see. This is like all intro here. Everybody right now. Everybody right now. so that was that's my idea i'm gonna I'm stick with i like the way that that sounds 
And actually, when I was uh, originally coming up with this in the studio, I was like, see you later, alligator. Uh, 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 so, like, I kind of come up with these just random, like, see you later, alligator, or I'll just say random gibberish words. Uh, but when I actually write the lyrics, uh, I'll say or write something that's close to that phrase. So I'll say something like, or see you later, like the waiter. I don't know. It's like I'm at a restaurant or something like that. I don't know. Just an example, because vowels to me play a very important part in coming up with my references. So if I'm just coming up with like random noises while I'm singing. So I'm just saying random stuff. But when I go to write, it's like, I don't know. I just don't know. So I ask why. You see what I'm saying? Uh, so it does help to kind of have the vowels in there when you're writing your songs, even if it does sound like gibberish. So let me go ahead and, and track that down. Hey. See you later. So it's kind of coming together, as you can tell. Hey, huh. See you later, alligator. Uh, but I just don't know. But the night. But I don't know. Keep a letter by the night. Uh, but I can't find me, but no. Then the night. Actually, really like how that is sounding. I actually really like how that's sounding. Alright, so I would stack those right there. And even with my references, I like to do stacks as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. See you later, hey, huh? See you later. Alright, just those two right there. That's all I want to do. Hey, huh. See you later, alligator. But I just don't know. I would probably stack right there, uh, but I'm not going to do it right now. Uh, matter of fact, I'll show you guys what I would do in this case is I would add a little memo here. Uh, so. Don't know. Zero for one record stacks for emphasis. So I like to do this uh, for my notes, or you can do this if you're writing lyrics all within GarageBand. You click this little notepad right here and it stays, uh, which is pretty cool. So it just lets me know this is where I want to write or record stacks. Night, 
I found out that find me, but no Then the night I'm not alone in the right now It's kind of a mode right now and then, okay, so this is our verse, our chorus, our lean into the chorus, which is the part that I was just playing right now. And then we have a rap, so I might as well record it here. And with raps, I do the exact same thing. So if I'm writing a rap, or I want to rap part of my song, I just boom, 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 boom. It's the same exact thing, only I don't have to think of notes to come up with. So let's do that. Yo, hey. Song, boom, song, the banana. And then right back into the Right back to this. There's nothing wrong with you recording your vocals uh, to a beat just saying gibberish. If you want to go that route, some people, they might just, want, they have to have lyrics. Some people, you know, it just depends on your workflow. But this is one way that I do it. And maybe it's something that you can try if you haven't done it already or tried it already. So, uh, yeah, this is uh, one way how I come up with vocal ideas for a song. Uh, maybe you can try the same. I thank you guys for watching. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like. Leave a comment down below. If you have any questions or comments, I will be answering, obviously. If you're not already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. Turn on the bell notifications. Set them to all. I'm really trying to get these numbers up as far as people watching the video when it's first released. Uh, because I, I want my ratios to be to, to be higher going forward. I got to reach for a higher standard at this point. So I would really appreciate that. Thank you, guys. And as always... Uh, Stay legendary. Okay, bye.